Well, good morning. Hey, y'all. I'm coming to you from the kitchen. And it is super early, although you may be watching it at a different time. But this morning, I am going to show you how to do a plaid tumbler using nothing but double stick tape. And, or double sided tape and no Mod Podge. So, I know that Mod Podge people think that is the devil's glue, and well, it is. I know that I've shown this method in a couple of different groups, but I figured I'd put it here so that everybody can see it all at once. Um, and so, I'd also put the clean version out there so that people can see it. Uh, and I'd also show you how easy and how little time consuming it is. Uh, so that you can see how quick, easy, fast uh, you can make a double-sided tape uh, plaid tumbler. And it's easy peasy, Japanesey. Um, the only thing I'm not sure on is my color combo yet. So I'm kind of going back and forth between uh, some colors. So I'll help you. I'll let you help me pick that out. But other than that, um, we're going to get started. You're going to need half inch double-sided tape half inch double-sided tape you're gonna need a tumbler doesn't matter what tumbler you pick so tumbler of your choice um, I buy my tumblers from a and J blanks um, they're the best company around so you can buy your tumblers from a and J blanks you're gonna need ultra fine glitter um, the glitter that I'm using today is from Nola craft culture I'm just not sure on the colors yet. You're going to need some rubber bands, not from 1963. So you're going to need some good quality rubber bands. Just putting it out there. We may or may not have had an incident with rubber bands that ended quite comically and quite horrifically the other day. So I'm just saying might have been bad you're gonna need scissors you're gonna need a straight blade you're gonna need a plate gloves you might need some other stuff along the way y'all know how I am I'm kind of forgetsies um, the longest part of this tutorial is going to be taping your tumbler but I'm gonna show you how to do that now all right so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna start from either the top or the bottom uh, I'm gonna start from the top and you're going to start taping your tumbler. You're going to tape it just like as if you were doing the um, uh, the striped tumbler that I've taught you how to do before also. And if you're like, but you've never taught me that. Well, then watch my other videos. Okay. And you're going to go all the way around. And while you're going around, you're going to um, pull the tape kind of strong. Okay, and you're going to make sure that it's tight along there, okay? And you, oh my baby. And then you're going to snip it, and you're going to not make too big of a seam on these, okay? So you're going to go all the way around, and you're going to not make too big of a seam. So here's your seam line right here. And even though it's got these little crinklies, don't worry about those, okay? So you're gonna just finger it around like that. Just give it a good go round. And then you're gonna go around again, okay? Mm -hmm. So you're gonna go very quickly. And your stick to like kinda like bend like a spoon. That's okay, my love. So the next round, you're gonna go right up on it. I mean, you're gonna get so close. There is no social distancing of your tape. So I'm gonna show you. There's no social distance in your tape. You're going to get right up on it. You're not overlapping it, but you're going to get right up on it. And it's half an inch, okay? And as you're going, you're going to thumb, thumb it down to make sure it's nice and smooth. But you're not getting, you're not overlapping it, okay? But you're getting up on it. And if you got up on it, just pull it up a little bit and then put it back down. And I prep my cups white. You can prep them any color. The other night I had to prep it black and it still worked just fine. 
So it really doesn't matter what color you prep your cup. Um, and as you go around, and I go pretty quick after this, I just wanted to kind of show you um, how you're doing it. And I apologize ahead of time. I don't have like a magic um, tumbler already prepped for you to, you know, be like, oh, and now this is already prepped. Like, nope, we're doing it together. So um, I don't have a pre-prepped tumbler. Yes, my love. But I don't know what it was. That I never had a piece of glass or plastic. Okay, I got that, my baby. Thank you, my love. So you're just going to go all the way around. And you're just going to keep going all the way down. And you're using half inch, okay? Half inch double-sided tape. And the half inch is important. Now, if you have whole inch double-sided tape then more power to you, that's even better. But I'm using half inch because that's the way I learned this technique. So, you're going to go around, give it a little cut, and you're going to try and keep your seam right on top of each other. Okay? As straight as you can. As straight as you can. Which for some of us is harder than others. Just saying. So you're going to go around. And you're going to just keep going. And I'm hoping that I have enough double sided tape. Otherwise we're going to have a half plied cup. Have something else cup. So that's what's going to be fun about this cup is. We're not going to know what happens with this cup. This is going to be a cup that's going to surprise us all. This is going to be an interesting cup to say the least. Unlike the other cup where it was a lovely modge podge of um, rubber band deboggle. My very first one that I did like this. Rubber bands were from 1980, uh, well, actually from probably 1883, um, and they were breaking everywhere. And every time I put a rubber band around the cup, they would pop, and they would break, and they would, I still think I have a rubber band that's on top of the refrigerator, and it would break and zing across the um, kitchen, and it oh. It, Y'all, it was terrible. It was it was a hot mess express. I think I need to get these scissors. These scissors are so sticky from cutting tape. So, and then you just keep going around. You spin me right round me. On YouTube, I have to sing to you because I can't play music. So, on YouTube, you just get me singing. <laughs> Because there's no music. But if you like it where we do funny antics. Like the rubber band debacle. Um, then you would definitely want to join our Facebook group. We have a Facebook group. Show me show van. And Instagram. Show me show van. TikTok. Show me show van. Everything show me show van. If you want to be a show tonight. You can join Show Me Show Van and be a chauvinista. So you can join all the platforms. The rubber bands were not funny, guys. They were terrible. That was awful. They were going everywhere. And make sure you're not overlapping your tape, okay? Make sure you're not overlapping it. Make sure you're right up on it. It's kind of like you're snuggling, but you're not like putting your leg up on it. Or it's like you're just you're in the dance space, but you're not like mm, mm. like don't get all crazy. This is like first date dancing, not like you know. Not like y'all been together a while dancing. 
All right, halfway through the cup. See how it's got these ripples, and you're like, look at all those ripples. Like, that's not going to look good. That's going to look like crap. No, it's not. It's going to look great. You're going to go, and you're going to give it like a little rub down. You're going to be like, oh, you look so nice. Oh, you look so, you're so pretty, girl. How you feeling? You look so nice. You're just going to give it a little rub down. And you talk to her because, you know, your crops have feelings too. And then you just keep going. But you do. You give it like a little rub down a little bit. And just to make sure that the tape is sticking. And then once you start taking the tape off, it'll stick really well. And you won't even see those little bumps. I promise. Trust me. I know all the lesbians of TikTok and the Tumblr world tell you that. But trust me. And the tighter you pull it, okay, the fewer of those little bumps and lumps you'll have. So if you can pull it tight, pull it tight. The tighter you make it, the less bumps you have. So you want it nice and tight, girls. So, okay, and I'm serious. Don't worry about those bumps. So you just keep going. Oh, look, I'm already noticing I forgot something, but I see it right there. You're also going to need like a little weeding pen, like a little picking pen or a weeding pen. So if you haven't started yet or if you're writing like a what, what things I need to do, so, and if you just mess up or you get too close or you start to overlap, just pull it up and put it down. And you want to make sure you have good spray paint. Don't buy crappy spray paint either. So while you're watching this video, if you'd like to give it a thumbs up while you're watching, or this is the part where you might want to like fast forward because the taping part is the boring part. And I hate for y'all to like watch the boring part. So probably fast forward like another five minutes. If you're watching this live, sucks to be you. You're stuck with me for another five minutes doing the boring part. Womp womp. But if you're watching this on playback, then you can just fast forward to five minutes. So we're going back, I go back, man, my seam is like super straight, look at that, that's probably the sexiest seam I ever made, okay, I mean like that's pretty fire, alright, so you keep going, keep going, just keep taping, keep taping, just keep taping, Keep them upping the video. Keep taping. We're all doing things with our fingers right now. Some of y'all are questioning. Questioning. <laughs> Looks like we just might have enough tape. Looks like we just might have enough. So I say that and now I'm going to probably run out and have to step off camera and use some curse words. So I go around and around and around. You spin me right around, baby, right around. And I'm trying to go like super mega quick. So then the tape the other day didn't like work. Because of the spray paint that I use. So if you use crappy spray paint. If you have to pick up your tape for any reason. It's going to pick up the spray paint. And then it's going to look like crap. So I use crappy spray paint. And then. Um, I had to. Oh that was such a debacle. Then I had to retape the cup. So then I had to retape it super fast. Then I had to wink every time. I had to retape it. Oh my gosh that was just. That cup was the, the cup of many winks.
So we called it the Winkin' Blinkin' and Not Cup. It was a, that was a cup and a half. But you want the lines right up on each other so that you don't see any seam. Like you want it to be like flawless. Okay. And I know you see these little humps. My hump, my hump, my hump. Okay. But as much as you see the humps on this side, you don't see them here. And you're not going to see this. I promise. I promise, promise. One should go all the way around. I always tell you to trust me. That's because usually, I say usually, because I have been wrong a time or two. But in this, I'm not wrong. Okay? Usually, I'm absolutely right. But this, I know I'm right. Because I've done it like three times. So, you're just going to keep going around. But if you um, use crappy spray paint, when you pull your double-sided tape up, okay, it's going to, it's going to make, uh, it's going to pull your spray paint up. But the good thing is, is that those buckles with double-sided tape fade away. Come fade away. Okay. So they'll fade away on you when you push them down or when you finger them down. <laughs> so you just keep going. And we're almost done the boring part, which is the taping. So we're almost done the taping. And you just got to keep going. So we're almost done. Almost done. So you just keep going. See how I pulled my tape up to make sure that it was a little tart, but I didn't pull the spray paint up? That's why. Okay. And you can see it really doesn't take that long. It's taking about maybe 17 or 18 minutes to tape your cup, so it's not taking a long time. You just got to... The tape game has got to be kind of strong, though. And you got to be super uber focused. Which I am. I'm super uber focused. And so you just keep going around. Like I said, make sure you're holding it tight. Make sure you're going around. And I would look at comments, but the second I look at comments, my tape is going to go wonky. And I want to make sure that this cup is perfect. Because this one... I'm going to be all sexying up. I'm going to do some sexying too. I'm going to sexify it. So, if you want to see the finished product, like the finished, finished, super mega finished product of this cup, you'll have to subscribe to our Instagram and our TikTok because um, I'm going to put the finished finished product on both of those but I'm going to zhuzh it up and make it all sexy make it all I'm so fancy you already know So I'm going to make it fancy. All right. This last little line right here. Okay. It's going to be a little, a little not as thick. But that's okay because you're going to tuck it underneath. So you're going to do a little tuck job. But you still want to make that line. Okay. So you want to, this is the only line that kind of gives me trouble because you can't go as rough with it because it's not stuck all the way but it also ends up being the most crisp 
because it goes down. All right. So our last line. All right, now once you get that laid, once you get laid, all right, you're going to take this one and you're going to do this little like sushi, like with it, like this. And make sure that it's touching your bottom so that you don't get stickiness all over the place. So you're going to want to kind of like give it a little massage. All right. And then you're going to want to do that with the rest of your cup. And this looks terrible. And I don't know exactly what it looks like. But that's exactly what you're going to want to do with your cup. And make sure that you like... Oh, you look so nice. You look like you have so much stress. And just give it a little massage. Make sure all your tape is kind of stuckety stuck. Okay? You look so stressed. I rubbed all the stress out of your body. And give it a little, like, rubbing down. Okay? So you can see the double-sided tape there. It's got a few little lumps, but do not worry about the lumps. Okay? All right. Now you're going to take your rubber bands. Some of y'all thinking, rubber bands? Yes. Okay. Be careful not to pop yourself in the face. you going to take... Sorry, I don't know where I went for a hot second. You're going to take your rubber band, okay? And you're going to put it right across the edge of the bottom. Okay? Make sure you don't pop yourself in the face. And you're going to go across the bottom. And you're going to go across the top. Make sure that it's flat. Across. Like. Make sure that there's no crinkles in it. And then you want to make sure that it lays. Like. Straight. And then you want to go. And then play a little instrument for a second. Because you're a five year old at heart. Okay. And straighten out your line. And all this is, is a guide. Okay? All this is, is a guide. This is just a guide. The rubber band size does not matter. Because all it is, is a guide. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. So you're going to put the rubber band across. Okay, you're going to take another rubber band and you're going to go across the opposite way. So you're going to make a cross. Make sure you don't pop yourself in the face. Okay. Make sure it's flat. All this is is going to act as a guide to your cut lines. That's it. It's nothing more then a cut line guide. And you want to take time with it. You don't want to like rush it or... And this is kind of like an intricate part in a sense because you really don't want to be all willy-nilly with it because you want it to be right, centered, perfect, and all because you want your squares to be very square. So you want the cross to be very even and perfect. And then you want to look at the bottom and make sure the bottom is correct. Then you want to make sure that your chunks are even and right. Okay? All right. You're going to take your next rubber band. You're going to go. All right, and then you're going to go across the top, and you're going to make sure that you move it a little bit, move it a little bit, make sure it's even, make sure your lines are even, and then you're going to do the same thing across the other side. So 
So you're gonna go across. And make sure you move it over. Move it over if you have to. Alright, and then you want to give it a good eyeballing. Okay? And make sure that all your lines are separated evenly. Alright? So your rubber bands are actually going to be like your straight lines. And you want to make sure that those look like they're spread out evenly. Like none is bigger than the other. There's not one that has a bigger gap than the other. You can definitely tell if one is bigger than the other because if your star is wonky or your star on the bottom is wonky, there is going to be one that's wonky. So check your lines, okay? If your star is good and you're happy with your life choices and your lines are good, okay, then... So, my lines are pretty happy with my lines. All right. I'm going to push you down a little bit so you can, I'm going to make you go down on me. All right. You're going to use the rubber bands as your cut guide. Okay. You're either going to stay to the right or to the left of the lines. But... If you stay to the left, stay to the left. Don't cut to the left and then on this one cut to the right. Stay to the left on all the lines, okay? I'm going to start on my seam line to where this is I know where I'm starting. And don't push the rubber band. Go on that side of the rubber band and make sure you're not pushing it and moving it around because you have it spaced out evenly. You're going to start at the top and you're just going to cut straight down. Have a steady hand and just cut straight down. If you want for like to keep control of your cut, put your hand in between two of the um, rubber bands and just cut straight down. Make sure you use pressure on the tape, but not motion on the rubber band. If that makes sense. So pressure like to cut down but don't move that rubber band. Okay? And then you move over. And you're going to cut again. Okay? Okay? Ease on down, ease on down. Ooh. Now, careful when you're moving your cup and flipping your cup or whatever, not to move your rubber bands around on a table either. That's why you use rubber bands, not string, because they're taut and they are rubber and they won't move as easy. Not saying they don't move, because they do, but they they are less likely to move. Okay. And always be very careful when you're using a straight razor. And keep going. And like I said, I'm cutting all on the left side. Okay. And then here I am back to my original spot. So then I'm good. So now I'm going to strip it naked. Naked of the rubber bands. Okay. So now you're ready to go. Now it's glitter time. Okay. So now you can see kind of maybe. Maybe kind of sort of. You can see the cut lines. Well, this one kind of came off. But... So now you can kind of sort of maybe see the cut lines. Maybe-ish. 
See right there? All right. So now you got your cut lines. You're all ready to go. You're going to start. Oh, you know what I don't have? Oh, but I have that. I was like, you know what I don't have? But I have something better. So hold on. Let me move something real quick. I was about to be screw glued and tattooed. All right. I'm debating on whether I want to do hot pink and black or hot pink and green. I think I'm going to do hot pink and black, but I don't know. Um, ah, you know what I don't have? A poop juice container. Oh. Oh. Sorry. Um, so I, it's between these two colors. It's between these three colors. I don't know what I want to do. It's either like hot pink and black or hot pink and... My first instinct was the hot pink and black. And then zhuzh it up with the... Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to do hot pink and black. Because that's that was my first instinct. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go with my first instinct. Always go with your first instinct. All right. So you're going to need a weeding pen. I always start with the hardest lines first, okay? I always start with the hardest line. So the colors I'm using is Pants Off, Dance Off by Nola Craft Culture. And then I'm using Space Balls by Nola Craft Culture. Now these are both, yeah, they're both holographic. Okay? All right, let me get a glove on in a minute. Because I'm in it and I ain't in it. All right. All right. At first, I'm not going to use a glove while I'm pulling. All right. I start on my seam. You're going to pull two, skip two, two, skip two. I start on my seam because that you're going to have to pull like the beginning of the seam. Does that make sense? So... You're going to get in there with your seam. Right. Right. Your seam is always like your funk a dunk. So I always start with my seam and I just pull too much because I got excited. I wasn't paying attention. Give me one second to put that back. <laughs> and if you pull too much, just put it back. I pulled one. I pulled one square extra. All right. So you pull two squares. Okay. Then you skip two. And then you pull two. So, and I know this, in this case, it looks like four little squares, but that's because it's the seam area. You're going to see in a second when I move to off of this seam. So this might seem a little long, but it's not really. Okay. So skip two. Pull two. So you get your weeding pen. I'm going to skip to. I know it is quiet. Why do you don't want to play with your music? Because I'm on YouTube, baby. I can't play music on YouTube, my love. Why? Because that's the rules, and we ha always have to follow the rules. I oh, know it's boring, so we have to concentrate. 
We have to follow the rules because that's the way things go. Okay, so you go down and it's a square, so it makes a one inch square, skip a square, one inch square, skip a square. Sticky, not sticky, sticky, not sticky, sticky. Make sense? All right, now you're going to skip a whole row and you're going to do the same thing. Now this row will go a little bit quicker because it's a whole square. You know it's bad when your son is like, it is way too quiet in there, Mom. Why is it so quiet? So then you're going to pull two. It's kind of like those little cherry bell pull tabs. You know? You pull up the, the edge. And you just pull them. So you know you must be loud um, during the morning. Then you're going to skip another whole row. And then you're going to pull up again. He's like, why is it so quiet in here? What is the issue? We are not quiet people, mother. But on YouTube, we um, we can't play music or the video gets um, tagged. So, rant, rant. All right. So, oh, I got to put that one back on. So if one of your squares didn't cut, you just go back and put the little piece on. Piece on. Dun -dun, dun -dun, dun -dun, dun -dun. So then you get lucky and I'll sing to you. So you're welcome. So that one didn't cut all the way through, so I just go back and put that piece of tape on. And then I skip a row. Okay, and then I'm um, going to pull two. Pull two. Pull two. Wait. Pull two. Skip two. Pull. I'm going so fast. Because this is like the boring part, but it's also the part where you have to pay attention, Chauvin. All right, so all these empty squares that I'm pulling, okay, especially that one that I shouldn't have just pulled because I'm too busy talking, okay? And like I said, if you pull one that you're not supposed to, just put it back. Um... All these empty squares, they're going to be one color. Okay? So they're all going to be the same color. And I'm going to show you how to rub your glitter on. Because some people rub their glitter on some way. Some people rub their glitter on another way. I do my glitter... Um, a certain way. Where did I go wrong here? This one. Oh. I skipped and I shouldn't have skipped. I skipped and I should have skanked. So hold on. This one I pulled and I should have. I was too busy talking. Let me just stop talking to y'all. Alright, and then this one, this one. Alright. Okay. So then you're gonna go and you're gonna check it. And you're gonna look and make sure all your squares are undone. So it should be row of sticky, no sticky, sticky. No sticky, sticky, no sticky, sticky, no sticky. Okay. Now comes your gloves. Because you don't touch glitter with your funky hands. Your hands are disgusting. All right. 
So I'm going to start with the pink. And all of the little sticky parts, okay? And all of the little sticky parts. Only on the sticky part. Don't just mad dump and then go back. And dump. Don't do that. It contaminates your glitter. So I just put a little mountain. Little mountain. Like a little... Like a little mountain, okay? Little mountain. Just enough to cover that spot. And I mean little mountain. Like, I'm talking ant hill. And I just rub it in. Rub it in, rub it in. I'm talking the most minutia mountain of mountains. Not even a mountain. Like a little baby hill. You're going to see how little of glitter that falls off this cup. Because the glitter is supposed to end up on the cup, not the plate. So, I don't waste glitter on the plate. Or I try not to drop the glitter. Drop it low there, drop it, drop it low there. I don't do that. Because even though it's just this color... The second you take your glitter out of the container, it contaminates it. So, I try not to waste too much glitter. Because it still contaminates it. Then I go. And I'm going to show you just how much glitter I end up having on my plate after this. Okay. So, just a little bit of heel. 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 Rub it in. Rub it in. Rub it in. Rub it in. And I just keep. Just keep rubbing. Just keep rubbing. Kind of like when you're rubbing some things. You know, like your dishes when you're trying to clean them. All right. Some of y'all got really clean dishes. If you're smelling what I'm farting, I'm just saying. A little bit of... Now, when you're doing this rub method, the reason why I always say don't worry about those lovely lady humps, okay, is because when you're rubbing this like this, that gets rid of those humps. Okay, so those bubbles or whatever are those little chunks in the double-sided tape. You're not even going to see those because when you're fingering it like this, it pushes down those and you will never see that that even existed. So, you just rub, 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 that's what I forgot, the brush, but that's right there too. Okay, and you move on down the road. And that's why you, oh, that's a lot. I'm going to leave that there. Okay, and then you just rub, 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 rub. And it gets out any of those seams that you may have had. So any of those bubbles or whatever, that's why you rub it in with your finger. With your finger, not just hair. You can do it all by yourself. Okay. Alright, I want you to see how much glitter is in my plate. Do you see that? I don't do that big dump it and then pick up the plate and dump. No. Alright. The next thing I do is I bang it. I bang it hard. That's to get the glitter off. And I bang it a few times. Now what I'm going to do is give it a sweep. That's to get this little excess glitter off of it to get it ready and prepped for the next color. And even in my plate now, you can see just how little, little bit of glitter 
and excess glitter that I have. And I'm sweeping it really hard. Because I want to make sure that all this excess glitter comes off. But I'm also sweeping on the color that I just did. Especially on the seam line color. And you can see it's not coming off. Because you've ground it into that double sided tape. It's good and on there. Okay. All right. All right. So, so far, here's our squares. And so far, that's how much glitter I wasted. That's how much. Little bitty. Itty bitty sparkly committee. Okay. All right. Now we're going to go in and we're going to do the black. So now you're going to go down one and over. So down one, okay, and over. That's going to be your next solid color, okay? And then you're going to do the, the same thing. Pull two, skip. Pull two, skip. And this is going to be your next solid, okay? So... This is going to be my straight black. Then skip a row. Pull two. Pull two. And you can see how fast it goes. But I think personally, I think the thing that takes the longest is just going around taping it. The rest is pretty easy. So going around. And if you have one inch double sided tape, it takes even less time than that. Um, so you just go, pull it real good. Bam, 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 bam. All right. And we're almost done this round. Pull it. Pull. Pull. And then we're done. Okay. So now we've got the exposed spots for the black. So we're going to. All right. So same thing. We're going to mountain it. We're going to mountain, 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 mountain. A little bit. And then we're going to rub, 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 rub. That wasn't enough. I got a little bit too, too unmountain me there. I got a little bit too conservative. Oh, this is going to be so pretty. Oh, I love this. This looks so pretty. Okay, so a little bit of mountain, little mountain, little mountain, little mountain. And this is all holographic glitter. But when you also do it like this and you rub it into the, to the tape real well, it gives it like... A, um, a good cut. So it kind of shows the holographic cut a little bit more. I know I'm on super early this morning. 
so I'm trying to get some things out the way. Y'all know I never stop, so I've been up since about 4.30 my time. So there's no rest for the weary. And I know I did this tutorial in my group and in another group, but I wanted to make sure it was on YouTube so that everybody could see it and get it. Okay. And then again, a little touch, a little touch, a little touch, a little touch. So while you're watching me rub down this black, if you want to give this video a thumbs up, that would be great. All right, so now we're going to bang it. Okay, I'm going to bang it again. Bang it again. All right? And now I'm going to sweep it. Oh, that's sexy. I swear, this is so easy. I can remember back in my Mod Podge days. And the painter's tape. And oh, my lanta. The curse words that would fly. That's why I stayed away from from plaid cups is because they were the devil. Boy, were they the devil. But not anymore. All right. All right. Now what we're going to do is <coughs> I'm going to take this little bit of extra black. I'm not packing it in there at all. I'm just putting it in there. I'm not going to pack it. I'm going to take two con or I'm going to take a container and I'm not packing it in. I'm just measuring it very evenly. Not packing it. And I keep saying don't pack it. Because you want it to be even. Okay. You want it to be even. And have the same distribution of glitter. So. Don't pack it in there. At all. And you want to take two. Your two colors. Make sure they're the exact same amount, and then you want to pour them into a Dixie cup, marry them. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to celebrate this thing called life. It's a magical thing called life. Okay. And then what I do is cover back up my glitter so nothing gets contaminated. So I'm real big on um, not messing with my colors. Especially my old craft culture colors. Alright. Then I take my little container and I stir it. I stir it and then I'm going to go back and forth with it a little bit. I stir, 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 stir. stir. And you're going to see just how little bit of glitter this takes to cover your cup. You're going to see how much I have left. But I always say you want to create a little bit more rather than a little bit less. So you kind of get to be your own glitterologist or your glitter mixer. It really doesn't take much to mix glitter. And I get like on the sides. And then I pour it into the cup to make sure that I've got, and then I'm going to mix it again just to make sure that I've got everything because I don't want to like leave any remnants behind. 
Like, and I don't want one to be like Funkadunk. And then I want to pour it one more time. Okay. All right. Now, all of the squares that are left, you're pulling. So everything that's left, you're pulling up. Everything that's left on your cup, you're pulling because it's going to be mixed with, or it's going to be laid with this, um, this bisexual glitter. Because it goes both ways. It's both the pink and the black mix. So, you're going to, this is my seam line. That's why it's kind of being a, it's being a douche. And see, don't worry if it's got color on it already, because that's your seam line. And this is also your double mix. So it's going to, um, it's going to have a little bit, man, this seam, I should have done a stripe cup on this cup because I don't think I'll ever get a seam this perfect ever again. It was flawless. The seam is always going to be the hardest to pull. Especially if it's a good one. The rest you can tell come off super easy. But you seem because some of it is underlapping and overlapping. And you can see I got a little bit of glitter on that seam line, but you're never going to even be able to tell that in a minute. So now you're just going to start popping them off. And remember, your whole cup is going to be sticky from here on out. So just be mindful of that because everything on your cup is going to be that sticky, um, the sticky tape. So while you're waiting... You can probably fast forward like three minutes. Because I'll tell you to fast forward. I don't care. Um, you'll probably want to fast forward either three minutes. Or while you're waiting, you can give this video a thumbs up. Because it's polite. But this method is so much easier than Mod Podge. You don't have to wait for it to dry. You don't have to wait for it to... You don't have to do it two layers because onions have layers. Cups should not have layers. You don't have to waste glitter. You saw how much glitter I've used. Um, you've seen how much glitter I've not had to waste. Um, you've seen, you see how vibrant my glitter is and I've only had to use one layer of glitter. So, it's great because you don't have to do two layers. You don't, you're not wasting glitter. You're not having to use like multiple layers and wait for it to dry. Hope it doesn't dry on you. There's no brush strokes. There's no chunkiness. It's all one layer. It's thinner. You, there's so many... Like, I cannot speak more highly enough about this method. And it goes pretty quick. There's no dry time. So you're not having to sit and wait for it to dry and then come back to it and then forget about it. And then you're ticked off at it. And then you have to fuss it and put it in timeout because I have a cup in timeout right now. All right, so this is my last. Now, a lot of people get nervous when I do this. Next part. 
But this is the only time I like go balls to the wall with glitter. And this is the only time that I'm just like meh because it's mixed and because I'm just going to hurl it anyway. But, and I'm also telling you to trust me. Okay. And I'm telling you to trust me because it works. So trust me. Okay. Okay. We're not going to do the mountain thing. Okay. We're going to just cover and hand job and rub it. Okay. I promise you that pink is going to be just as pink as before. Don't worry. Trust me. Okay. I'm going to lift you up a little bit so you can see. Okay. Trust me. So I just pour it all over the cup. And what I do, because the rest of the cup, I rub it all over it. All on top of the colors. And I know what you're thinking. Stop it! No. It's fine. Just, oh ye of little faith. And I'm rubbing it in too. I ain't, I ain't even scared. And I take it. And I put like a big old, big old fatty. And I take... And just go, oh, I forgot a line. I forgot to take the tape off of that line. You can also tell why you forgot to take the tape off, too. Because if the glitter's not sticking, you'll be able to tell where you didn't take the tape off. So I'm going to go back real quick with my little trusty weed tool. And hurry up and grab those. Because I need my glitter to stick there desperately. And I know some of y'all thinking, no, you just ruined all that work. Trust me. Just trust me. All right. Gonna work it in, work it in. Now, even doing this dump, I still have tons of glitter left, but I'm gonna work it in. Make sure it's in every nook, every cranny. Okay. Finished. I'm kidding. I ain't finished. You ready? My favorite part. Ready? Rest your nerves, Narvinas. Told ya. Ooh, wee, you good looking. And that is the plaid cup. Easy peasy. Japanesey. And you just get your little excess off. And that's your plaid cup. 
And I'm going to zhuzh this one up a little bit and make it all pretty. And look, here's the excess glitter. So I used a lot more than I usually do. Um, but so I still have some extra glitter, but um, I'm not keeping that because that's not enough to do a hill of beans. But, um, um, but that's uh, the excess glitter, but there's a lot that you can use um, if you make it with, but... So then you can either pinstripe it, you can put stuff in the middle, whatever. I say keep a little bit, because if there are some little areas where there's like maybe a little white spot, you can put a little dab of Mod Podge, like a little dab of Mod Podge, and then put like a color. But other than that, pretty every time. Works every time. So, I just wanted to show you that in about an hour, a little less, you can make an easy peasy, Japanesey, flawless plaid cup, and have no problems doing it. I hope y'all had a great time. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please share it with your friends. Please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you have any questions, you can put it in the comments. You can message me on on Facebook. Please join our Facebook group, Show Me Show Van. If you want to see the finished version of this cup, follow us on Instagram, um, YouTube, uh, TikTok, whatever. We're all Show Me Show Van on everything. And um, I'm also going to do something uh, sassy with this little, this little ditty too. I got kind of a, I got an idea with this little ditty. So um, y'all have a great day. Y'all be good to everybody. Bye, y'all.